What do you know about Sweet and Lulu? No quiz. <laughs> yeah, I love their、um, mall shops. Stores and you just shops like the and... shopping. That's what. You... No, because it's very nice for Instagram picture. <laughs> it's time to react to the ah, world. Ah, yeah. And today we're on a trip to Sweden. Yes. The <laughs> Nordic country, way up north, which we're discovering is full of beautiful people who also love Chris Clayford as well. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? We've been listening to so much of the Swedish sensation and his amazing music that it just got me curious to check out more of Sweden. And、yes. we've done a couple of videos about different countries. Now we watch a video about South Korea, the culture and its people, and we also watch one about the Philippines. So I figure it's time to learn more about Sweden.、Mm. What do you know about Sweden, Lulu? No quiz. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish my sentence. I figured it out already. <laughs> There's not one thing you no, know about Sweden. I know the nature is beautiful in Sweden, baby. Well, you also know they make great meatballs. <laughs> yes, and their chocolate. I love their chocolate. No, that's Swiss.、Oh, Swiss <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe Sweden does make chocolate, but I think you're thinking of Switzerland. All right, all right. Well, this is the reason why we're gonna watch this, so I will educate myself. Okay, that's a good thing. <laughs> What I know about Sweden, hmm. Well, EA, which is one of the biggest gaming companies in the world, they have an office in Sweden, one of the biggest ones, and they're the ones that produce、oh. the game Battlefield. So that I know, and I have friends that work from that office. You go online and you check out that office. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It looks like an amazing place to work. Really? Yeah. Wow. And Sweden, I think, like most Nordic countries, has probably one of the best education systems in the world. One of the best healthcare systems in the world. Like they really take care of their citizens in that country. Oh, we should move there. Ah,、uh, yeah, but it's really cold. Cold as freaking bejesus, because it's way up north. Is, is it? But hey, give it a couple more years. Global warming take effect. It'll be like a balmy eighty degrees another twenty <laughs> years. So hey. Thank God for global warming. <laughs> All right, so let's check out this video. Eleven amazing facts about Sweden, and away we go. During our time here on FTD Facts, we've learned a lot about many different cultures and people from all around the world. Countries that have had great and beautiful, vast landscapes, and people that are always working for the greater cause. And one country that represents this is Sweden. So how's it going, guys? My name is Dave Wapple, and welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we teach you guys everything about everything. Now today we are looking at one of the most interesting countries and one of my most favorite countries, and that is Sweden. And I don't like it just for its beautiful. Woman, but I like it first. That's true, Swedish women. Beautiful. So many other facts as well. Let me ask you this: Which country has the most beautiful people? If you guys say Canada, I'm just gonna be, who, so honored. Just, come on. Really? <laughs> Now, Sweden is a country that has an area of 450,295 square kilometers, and as of 2016, it has a population of over 9,995,400 people, and it is estimated that、specific. it is already at 10 million, which makes it the 89th most populous country in the world with a density of 23.1 people per square kilometer. And of course, before we get into the cool achievements of this country, we got to talk about Sweden's imports and exports. For example. Well, according to the OEC, it has 159 billion dollars in exports and 154 billion in imports. But Sweden is known for exporting machinery and electrical equipment, which makes up a majority of the exports, coming in at 44.8 billion dollars. This is stuff like telephones, forklifts, you name it, they got it. But refined petroleum makes up on its own 6.9 percent, and its imports, well, the machinery also makes up 40.2, with crude petroleum coming in at 7. Now, when we hear of Sweden, we like to probably say, "Yo, these people speak Swedish." Now, this Northern Germanic language is a descendant of Old Norse language. But the crazy part is, this wasn't an official language until the country recognized it on July 1st, 2009. But besides its language, Sweden also has some really cool traditions, especially during Christmas. For example, since 1966, the town of Yavla has always put up a giant straw. Goat, and unfortunately, every single year this straw goat is always burnt down, and it's kind of a non-acceptable tradition. But funny part is, although they keep an eye out for vandals, if the giant goat is burnt down before December 13th, maybe it's time to not make it out of hay. 
It is rebuilt for the holidays. Now, have you ever heard of the Ericsson Globe? It is a cool structure located in Stockholm. Originally, it was called the Stockholm Arena, and it is the large spherical building in the entire world. It has a diameter of 110 meters by 85 meters tall, Whoa. and can hold up to 16,000 people for spectacles and games. But that Looks is like really not the spaceship. only thing that makes the Ericsson Globe really important. This is probably one of my favorite facts of all of Sweden that I've heard of so far, and the fact is that the Ericsson globe represents the sun. And I never knew this, that Sweden is home to the largest scale model of the solar system in the entire world. Throughout the entire country, the solar system is represented. For example, you have Mercury being the Stockholm City Museum. Earth is represented for Kosmonova Rick's Muset in Stockholm. And as for Pluto, it's located all the way out in the Dellen Lakes in Delsbo. It's crazy. The model of the solar system takes up the entire country of Sweden. It's so cool. And because That's of that, cool. Sweden takes great pride in its country, and because of that, it takes great care of its ecosystems and life. And to prove that, the country has 15 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, with one still on the consideration list. But one of the most interesting ones is the Strobe Geodic Arc, which Sweden shares with many other European countries like Germany and Belarus. Now, this arc was inscribed in 2005, and the interesting thing about it, it was built in 1816 to 1855, and it was a series of chain triangulations going over 2,250 kilometers. And this was in order for scientist Frederick George Wilhelm von Struve to get an exact reading of how large the Earth actually was. Of course, when we talk about Sweden, we oh. cannot forget about the famous Ice Hotel. A hotel that is completely made of ice, even right down to the cups what? that you drink out of. It was first constructed in 19... Babe, that's how cold it gets. <laughs> A hotel made of ice. And don't melt. 90, and every year it's always been rebuilt when it gets cold. And the ice from the structure comes from the Torn River, and all the ice makes the structure over 64,600 square feet. I've always wanted to go there, but I think it's really expensive. Of course, one other fascinating thing about Sweden is that it hasn't participated in any wars in the last 200 years. This all happened after the Napoleonic Wars, which at the time Sweden had many conflicts with Russia. But the signing of the policy of 1812 was the beginning of its peace. However, the funny part is, is after the Cold War, Sweden has dropped its principle of neutrality, and although it's not mandatory among its people, to this day they still continue to lower its military might. But when it comes to the history of Sweden, its people have a great story. And one of the most famous stories is it is the first country to have a woman win a Nobel Prize for literature. This was Selma Lagerlof, who was a teacher and writer. And not only was she the first woman to win for literature, she was the third woman to win a Nobel Prize in history. And let's not forget that since 1901, the country is the country that gives out the Nobel Peace Prizes each year in Stockholm, Sweden. But that's it, guys. Once again, we've learned a lot about a new country and its people. My name's Dave Wapple, and it's been a pleasure talking about Sweden. But before we get out of here, guys, we want you guys to leave a comment down there for future FTD Facts videos. But thanks for watching, guys. Sweden is one of my favorite countries. And we have just scratched the surface on this great country, a country that has led great contribution to the world and its development, a modernized country with a heavy history and culture dating thousands of years ago. This is Sweden, a beautiful country, a beautiful place where right, its people it's know as... that peace and wisdom our true story. Boy, he throws a lot of facts out real fast. That's right. It's very um deep. <laughs> you don't need to worry, babe. You, I think you're just starting out your sweat. You're not going to get a test on this, okay? I need, I need to listen to it again. <laughs> what we got here so far is uh, there's a lot of smart people in Sweden, mm -hmm. mm, right? There's a lot of very accomplished people. You have a Nobel Prize winner for literature, a they woman. Normally, yes, a, a woman, woman, Selma. The sciences, uh, their exports, mm -hmm. which I did not realize was a lot of machinery. Why, you were expecting a lot of chocolate? I honestly didn't know. <laughs> I honestly didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what came from Sweden. I don't know. I just thought it was, honestly, its biggest strength was its intellectual might. In other words, they have a very educated population. I guess a lot of video game developers are there. Did he mention that it's smaller and it's a lot of people? He went through some facts about like there's 10 million people and there's about like, you know, X number of people per 23 some kilometers. Right. I honestly don't know what any of that means yeah. and have any sense of comparison. It's not a 
big country in terms of size, and mm. it's definitely a very small country in terms of like population. I mean, just to give you a comparison, South Korea has about 10 times more people than they have in Sweden. Mm. Same thing with the Philippines. I think for Philippines, Vietnam, South Korea all have close to about 100 million people, while it's 10 million in Sweden. So it's a lot smaller. smaller. Yeah. When Chris was talking about his family from AGT, how everyone's from a small village, uh -huh. I get a feeling there's a lot of these small villages in Sweden. <laughs> That's right. Like it's the whole family living in that small mm -hmm. city. Ah. But yeah, very beautiful country though. Yes. I honestly have this vision of Sweden always be immersed in snow, but it's really nice it's to be not. able to see some yeah nature yeah, and exactly. I love the summertime they, looks beautiful. Yeah, I love their alley and like small shops. Stores and you shops just like the shopping. That's what like, you're turning. <laughs> well, because it's very nice for Instagram picture. <laughs> For all you Swedes out there, let us know if there are other videos that you think are worthwhile checking out that'll give us a uh, you know, fun glimpse into Sweden. And of course, if you like us, and of course, if you love these kind of reactions, not just to amazing talent around the world, you know, to us discovering your culture and your people, your food. Subscribe. That's right, Lulu. <laughs> Subscribe, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you.